sound lines. And if you're looking, if you're a beginner just starting out on the guitar uh, and looking to want to play uh, your favorite songs fast without all the boring drills and and uh, uh, scales and modes, etc., you come to the right place. Subscribe to my channel. I post at least one or two videos every week showing you how to play guitar using simple chords and play hundreds and even thousands of songs using just a handful of chords. Today I'm going to show you how to play Elvira by the Oak Ridge Boys. This is a real good song for anyone starting out on a guitar or even an advanced guitar player. It's a fun song to play. It's a, it's a song that everybody can uh, sitting around can enjoy and start singing along with you. And uh, it, it's also only uses three chords. That's another good part about it. The G, the C, and the D. Now if you don't know the G, C, and D, um, I'll just show them to you here right quick, but also you can do a search here on my YouTube channel for each card, and you'll find a video on each card and how to play it and uh, how, to, how to make it sound clear. But the G, you have your first finger on the 5th string, 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the 6th string, 3rd fret, and your ring finger, or your little finger, either one, on the 1st string, 3rd fret for G. Okay, for C, 1st finger is on the 2nd string, 1st fret, second finger on the fourth string second fret and your third finger on the fifth string third fret let's see okay and then the d first finger is on the third string second fret second finger is on the first string second fret and then your third finger your ring finger is on the second string third fret for d I like to say if you don't know the position you can't remember them just do a search for each card here on my youtube channel g card c card d card and it'll bring them up with a video on each one. Uh, but that's all there is. If you don't, if you don't know the chords already, learn the chords first. You want them to sound clear, okay? And once you get them to sound clear, then you can start playing, changing from one to the other. Okay? The biggest problem with most most people starting out on guitar is not being able to make the chords sound clear. It's usually the first hurdle you'll come to. Just be sure to keep your elbow in and let your, let your, by keeping your elbow in, it keeps your fingers more upright, more vertical, up and down. So you just play it on the tip of your fingers. So that's important. Right on the tip of your finger. And get as close as you can to the frets. Close as you can to the metal balls of the frets. Because the close, when you get right next to them, not on them, but right next to them, that's where you're going you're gonna to have the clear sound of your chords. And it won't take a whole lot of pressure. So don't don't grab it and just bear down on it because your, your fingers are going to get to where they, they start hurting. And you don't need that much pressure. Just enough pressure to get them down firm. Okay. All right, we're going to start with the G. Now I'm going to strum. And on the strumming, think of strumming as timing. Not down, up, up, down, etc. That would totally confuse you. Think of it as timing. Let your strumming hand... Uh, Relax your, your wrist and your hand, and you don't want to strum with the elbow down with a straight arm like this. You want to let you, like I say, let it all be at the wrist, let it flow free and clear back and forth. And just create your strum. When you're first starting out, it, you don't want to sound just like the recording anyway. Uh, you want to make it your own. That's what I like to do, make it my own and have fun doing it. And uh, also, uh, once you're able to move and change chords smooth and even, sing along with your playing. I think that really helps uh, smooth things out and also will help with your chord changes and, and being able to play the chords properly. So sing along with it. Even if you can't, don't have a really great voice, it doesn't matter. It's all about having fun and learning how to play guitar. So let's strum through it, and I'm going to call the chords out to you, and we'll make the chord changes as I call it out to you. We'll start with G. Time 
and I kind of put a few words mixed in along with the card. Elvira. Elvira. My heart's deep for LG. I said, look like heaven. Lips like cherry wine. That girl sure can make my little light deep. She funny feeling sing up and down my spine. She I know that my Elvira's mine. One more time, Elvira, we're on G. Elvira, my heart's deep. I get funny feelings See up and down my spine Gee, cause I know that deep Gee So I'm seeing Elvira Elvira My heart's deep fire Elvira's cheek Papa, um, papa, mau, mau, hitty up, um, papa, um, papa, mau, mau, hearts on fire, Elvira. One more time, let's go. Gee, have fun with this thing. Strong along with me. Hearts on deep, LG. I said, look like heaven. Lips like cherry. That girl sure enough makes my little light deep. Gee, I get a funny feeling. Say up and down my spine. Cause I know that deep hell is mine. So I'm singing Elvira. Elvira. My heart. That's it, folks. Great song. Great song to strum. Great song to have sing. And great song to start with uh, if you're a very, very beginner on guitar. Great first song also. But all, all, all we're talking about J, C, and D. Okay? Now, if you want an easier way to play the G, C, and D, where you don't have to take as long learning, um, being able to make the chords sound clear, and not, ha and not having trouble uh, moving from one to the other, show you my easy way. Take your first finger on the fifth string, second fret, second finger on the sixth string, third fret. Take your ring finger, put it on the second string, third fret, and your little finger on the first string, third fret. So you have four fingers down. These two bottom fingers will not move for all three chords. They stay right here where they are. They're locked in. That's what makes it so much easier to play these three chords. So you have G, okay, and to go to C again, these two do not move. Just drop your first and second finger down one string a piece, and now they're on the fourth and fifth strings, second, third fret. These two still at the bottom two strings on the third fret. That's C. Okay, C and I technically, but well, we'll, we'll call it C. Okay, and then to go to D. Move your first finger to the third string, second fret. These two still opt in for D. And you can see the lot less movement from G to C to D. A lot less movement, G to C to D. Rather than do it G, you can see all this movement. Way back, C, D, way across. So by using this, this method, what I call my easy card method, all you have to do is G, okay, and then C. Just drop those two fingers of the fourth and fifth string. And then move your, for D's, move your first finger to the third string, second fret. 
these two down here stay locked in on all three chords. They don't move. So you have G, C, D. Back to G. So that'll help you. If you forget uh, the chord position on these, again, do a search. Uh, Magic Four Chords here on my YouTube channel. It's going to bring bring up a uh, video showing uh, these four chords, the position. So that way you can continue to practice the chords the right way. But this is a real easy way to learn G, C, and D uh, without all the big movement. If I would have known this one when I first started many years ago, I would have progressed so much faster and I'd have been playing songs in a matter of days. <coughs> not weeks, not months. So, again, if you want to try, give it a try. If you've been having trouble with the G, the C, and the D, this is a great way to simplify. Sounds pretty much just the same, but the movements are so much easier. Okay? Uh, a couple of tips when you first start out. Also, um, one thing that helps uh, uh, you able to make your card sound clear, when, when you first start out, a lot of beginners want to tilt the guitar down like this. And by doing this, they to reach way around and... and there's hardly any way to make these fingers not touch strings next to them when you do this. Plus, it's very awkward trying to strum. So you want the guitar to be more or less almost upright. And you definitely, you don't want the neck that way down here either. You want the neck supported up here. And that will allow you to be able to play the chords much better, make them sound uh, much clearer, much cleaner. Okay? So just a tip. Uh, fingernails need to be trimmed on the carding hand. Another tip. Again, in the song video we just did, I mentioned that the, the fingers need to be close to the frets. Close, not next to the frets, not on the fret. Because the closer, when you're close to the fret, it makes it easier to press down. It makes the, the, the note itself sound clean. So when you strum all the, all the notes, they sound clean, and that's what you want. You want a clear sounding car. But if don't spend hours and hours practicing, 10 to 15 minutes per day, that's all you need. Uh, and you'll progress at a good, good pace five, six days a week, uh, 10 to 15 minutes a day. Don't over practice. There's nothing worse than over practicing. Yeah, that sounds crazy, but it's true. You want to stay fresh, you want to have fun with the guitar, and fun the learning experience. You don't want to make it a hassle trying to learn. You want, you want to have fun and enjoy learning. And uh, so 10 to 15 minutes each day uh, is plenty enough. And do not try to learn hundreds of chords. There's literally thousands of chord positions on the guitar net with just a handful of chords. Um, you can play thousands of songs. Really. Just a handful of chords. Uh, the G, C, D, those, those three chords, hundreds and hundreds of songs. The G to C, again, hundreds and hundreds. So keep it simple. Don't, don't, and stay focused. Just concentrate on these chords. Keep it simple, and you'll learn, you'll be playing these chords and songs this week. Um, maybe by the end of the day, you'll even be playing a card or two, making them sound correctly. But just keep it simple, folks. It's, it's not hard. If you have the right uh, guidance as to what to practice, when to practice, how to practice, and I can help you with that. I've been doing this over 40 years, teaching thousands and thousands of students how to play the guitar. It's been a great experience and continues to be even today. I'm enjoying teaching guitar today more than I ever have in all of my 40 years of teaching. Uh, with the advent of the internet, I'm able to reach out to the world and help people all over the world learn how to play. I want to help you. And uh, if you stay here with me on my YouTube channel, don't forget, subscribe. Hit, click the little red button uh, below this video. And uh, hit the bell, little bell symbol. And you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. Uh, I want to build up my subscriber list here. Uh, each and every one of you who subscribe, it helps uh, spread the word about my, my lessons here on YouTube. And my method of teaching here on YouTube. Uh, I also, down down below the description, have a link to my website, bestbeginnerguitarlessons.com. If you go there and enter your email address, 
uh, you'll be brought to 38 of my best beginner guitar lesson video tutorials. The same lessons I've used for 40 years teaching people how to play the guitar. They work, they've proven, they've been, they are effective. We, we know that. We've proven that. So they're free, 100% free. If you were coming here paying for those lessons, uh, here in my studio, valued at over $1,000. You'd pay well over $1,000 for those 38 lessons. So, again, link below in the description, bestbeginnerguitarlessons.com. Visit my website. Leave your comments below. If you enjoyed this song tutorial you want to see more, please leave your comments. Please, the, the comments also help promote my channel. And uh, if you're having trouble with anything, you're new to the guitar, you need some help with something, leave your comments, leave your questions. Uh, whatever you're having trouble with, Put them down in the comment section. Um, and if you, like I say, if, you, if I'm showing you something that you really like, you're getting some benefit out of it, let me know. Um, that lets me know I'm doing something right. Um, well, until next time, let's go play some guitar.